Okay, top of page 19. These specs really help. If I only look at the page. As the temple was sinking under the fury of the raging element, the mount on which it stood seemed in that part of it, says the historian, to impress the idea of a lake of liquid fire. The blood of the slain ran in rivulets. The earth around became covered with the slain, and the victorious Romans trampled over those piles of the dead in pursuit of thousands who were fleeing from the points of their swords. In a word, the roar and crackling of fire, the shrieks of thousands in despair, the dying groans of thousands, and the sights which met the eye, wherever it was turned, were such as never before had any parallel on earth. They're probably as much uh, they probably as much exceeded all antecedent scenes of horror as the guilt which occasioned them in their treatment of the Lord of Glory exceeded all guilt ever before known among men. A tragical event had transpired worthy of particular detail before the temple was wrapped in flames an importer appeared among the Jews asserting a divine communication and that of the people uh, and that if the people would follow him to the temple they would see sights, wonders, and deliverances. About 6,000, mostly women and children, followed him and were in the galleries of the temples waiting for the promised deliverance when fire was set to that building. Not one escaped. All were consumed in the conflagration of the secret edifice. What multitudes are by false prophets plunged into internal fire. The place of the temple now presented a vast pile of ruins. Here terminated the glory and existence of this stupendous building. This type of the body of Christ and of his church, this type of the millennium and of heaven. Here it reached its close after the period of 1,030 years from the time of its dedication by Solomon and of 600 and 39 years from its being built in the days of Haggai, Haggai, Haggai. After the 70 years captivity, it is singular that it should be reduced to ashes not only soon after the feast of the Passover, which convened so many thousands of Jews to Jerusalem to meet the ruins of their city and nation, but that it should be consumed on the same month, on the same day of the month on which the Babylonians had destroyed it by fire. And I'm going to start at the top of page 20. Chapter 1 just goes on and on, doesn't it? Oh, well. All right, I'm going to talk page 20. Need a break. And I know you do too. And wow, what a difference these make. Uh, 
Anyhow, we're going to plow on. After to finish chapter one, I'm going to get back to the Mennonites, I promise. Uh, just a little break.